Ông cô chú. Please be seated. Ông... Le président. The court is now back in audience. session. Once again, the floor is given to the prosecutor to continue presenting the key documents to my proceeding. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm moving on to the last extract from Ben Kiernan's book, How Pol Pot Came to Power. This appears on English, ERN 4875 and Khmer 0010-487. The heading to the section is Premonition. L'intitulé est le suivant, Prémonition. Mr. Kiernan states as follows in the book. On the 18th of March 1974, the fourth anniversary of Sihanouk's deposition, a combined force of CPK Northern and Southwestern Zone troops, led by Pok and Mok, overran the former royal capital of Udon, 24 miles north of Phnom Penh, on the border of the two zones. A few months later, Donald Kirk, that is a reference to Donald Kirk, a journalist, who has written a book called Wider War, published in New York in 1971, and also a document entitled The Khmer Rouge, Revolutionaries or Terrorists, Les Khmer Rouge, written in 1974. A few months later, Donald Kirk investigated Donald the Kirk aftermath of this CPK victory, which had serious implications for royalism as well as for the Khmer Republic. Quote, there was manifestly a conscious effort on the part of the Khmer Rouge not only to overrun government outposts, but to destroy the last vestiges of a civilization that appeared totally decadent and irrelevant. Thus, the Khmer Rouge, after conquering Udon, led the populace of 20,000 persons into the nearby jungle, killed all school teachers and government officials, and deliberately razed the town, setting buildings on fire or tearing them down. That's footnote 377, Donald Next, Mr. Kiernan is going to refer to, in footnote 328, 78, sorry, 378, he's going to refer to his interview with a man called Tim, T-I-M, and that was Ben Kiernan's interview with Tim in Udon, on the 18th of September, 1980. A peasant from the village of Vien Kath, that's Tim, brackets old palace, close brackets, outside the town, who had been aware of local CPK activities since 1967 and sympathized with their anti-royalist views, took part in the evacuation. In 1980, he recalled, quote, 40,000 people were sent in all directions. The Khmer Rouge burnt houses everywhere. We had to go to go west into Region 31, Kompon Chiang, 
and were sent on and on. Uniformed Lon Nol soldiers were executed along the way. People were split up into groups of 50, 200, or 300, and escorted by groups of Khmer Rouge. Of those sent on to Region 31 and further, to Passat and Batambong in some cases, only one in five survived to return five years later. Mr. Kiernan continues. A CPK sub-district cadre in the area, and that's a reference to Numuk or Numao, who gave evidence last week. A CPK sub-district cadre in the area affirms that the orders to evacuate the town population came directly from Mok. The rationale, he says, was to get them to grow rice in the rear base areas, malaria-infested areas where there were food shortages. Mr. Kiernan then states, Udong was an omen on a small scale for the population of Phnom Penh. He then, referencing again Numuk, says that Chuchet was in Kampot when Udong was taken, and then still referencing Numuk, he says as follows. The same cadre, and that is Numuk. The same cadre also reports a CPK company commander telling him in 1974 that Hu Yun opposed evacuation of the capital. But Yun and Chet had been outmaneuvered at least in the southwest. Mok and Kusampong, the cadre says, were already in favor of evacuating Phnom Penh. And that is footnote 382, referring to Ben Kiernan's interview with Numuk. He, Kiernan, continues. The Deputy Secretary of Region 37 at the time, and I interject, that is an interview between Steve Hedder and this man that took place on the 11th to 12th of March 1980. So, Donc, the Deputy CPK Secretary of Region 37 PCK at the time later told an interviewer, a quote, a interviewé, if we had captured si Phnom Penh Pen in 1974, there would also have been an evacuation. This had been a long-standing plan. The slogan was dry up the people from the enemy. Next, Mr. President, can I move, please, to document number E3-167. The next number of documents deal with the movements of Kyusampong and Ying Seri as part of the Grunk Funk official tour to China, Vietnam, 
en Europe Chine, au Vietnam, Africa. en Europe et en Afrique dans le cadre du Grug et du Funk. So, firstly, E3-167 English ERN 00280571, Khmer 00596117, and French 00000107. And this is a broadcast by the Information Bureau of the United National Front of Cambodia, and it's published by the Nouvelle du Cambodge Cambodia Information Agency. And that first page identifies the document. En première page, on trouve les références de ce document. This document is dealing with. A, the trip by Kyu Sampon and Ying Sari to North Korea. And to give some details, I move to English page 00280584. Khmer page 00596138. And I hope French S00000. Two zero stroke two one. 120 et and there's part of the report which is entitled Speech le Given by Deputy Prime Minister Q Sampon. And the text reads At the reception hosted on the 5th of April in the avril, assembly room at Mansudai by the Central People's Committee Mansoulai, and the Administrative Council Central, of the Democratic Conseil People's de Republic of Korea. De la and it talks Corée, about Mr. Q. Sampon giving the following speech. And suivant. this is within two weeks or so of the Ceci incident at Udong. And the relevant extract is at English 00280586, French S00000107. And Khmer 00596141. So this is a direct quote from the Kyusampong speech, and I quote. On the contrary, the Cambodian People's National Liberation Armed Forces attacked the enemy forcefully and are now solidly implanted at the very gates of Phnom Penh. And Phnom Penh itself the last hideout of the traitors has become a burning battlefield under the increased pressure of our people's national liberated armed forces. On the 18th of March, our people's national liberation armed forces liberated another city, Udong by annihilating all the puppet soldiers there along with their reinforcements. In other words, over 5,000 enemies were eliminated. Then next, can I please deal with the start of this official trip? So North Korea was one of the countries visited on this trip by Kyu Sampon and Ying Sari. But to take us back to late March 1974, I move to document number E3 slash 1238. English ERN 00278739, Khmer 00702017, and French 000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 And this document 000. is a funk publication, publication again funk, published in Nouvelle du Cambodge, dans Nouvelle and du it Cambodge, is entitled Congratulations titre, from Chief of State Samdak Norodom Sihanouk to Mr. Q. Sampong. 
and it is dated on the 1st of April 1974. It references Sihanouk um, congratulating Q Sampon, the chief of the Funk and Grunk delegation, on his official friendly visit in Vietnam. And then there's a partial text Ensuite, of the message which was delivered by Sihanouk on the 27th of March, and I quote, I am extremely happy to Je learn that you have arrived in good health in the glorious and fraternal Democratic, Democratic Republic of Vietnam, and Vietnam to deliver to you and to their excellencies Yang Siri, Q Tirit, and my heartfelt wishes for a complete success in your patriotic mission. Your current and future visits to our friends, Vietnam, China and Korea, have and will have historic importance and positive consequences. Then moving still to give some detail to Vietnam, we move to English 00, still within the same document, English 00278740, Khmer 00702019 and French 00000022. And this part of the document is headed Talks between the Funk and Grunk delegation, the Vietnamese Fatherland Front and the government. And it confirms that talks were held on the 29th and 30th March in the presidential palace of the Vietnamese government between Funk and the Grunk delegation, the Vietnamese Fatherland Front and the DRVN government, and that the Cambodian representatives were Q Sampong and Yang Suri. Next, I move to document number E3-1242. The front of that document still dated the 1st of April 1974, shows that there was a farewell, farewell reception hosted by the Funk and Grunk delegation in Hanoi in Vietnam, and that uh, the extract on the front of that page so shows that there was a big farewell page, reception in Hanoi on the 31st of March 1974 at the end of the official friendship visit to the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Still within the same document, English ERN 003 22964, Khmer 00607959. French 00000049-50. And this shows under a heading signing of the joint Cambodia Vietnam declaration that there was a signing ceremony of a joint declaration by the Funk and Grunk delegation uh, and the Vietnamese on the 1st of April 1974 and the, the signatory for the Cambodian delegation was Q Sampon. The next document is E3-1143. This is a Funk public publication dated the 2nd of April 1974 again published in Nouvelle du Cambodge. It shows that English ERN 00280540, Khmer S00704558, and French 00006669. That in an entry dated the 2nd of April 1974, Peking warmly and solemnly welcomes the Funk and Grunk delegation. And that shows that again, um, under the leadership of Q Sampong, 
The delegation arrived in Peking on the 1st of April by special flight from Hanoi and that leaders of the Chinese Communist Party and the government of the People's Republic of China, uh, including Zhou Enlai, came to the airport to greet the delegation. Within the same document, English 00280542, Khmer 00704560361 and French 00006864. It shows in an entry dated the 2nd of April that on the 1st of April there was a grand banquet in Peking in honor of the Funk and Grunk delegation. The entry states, yesterday evening Mr. Zhou Enlai, the Prime Minister of the Council of Foreign Affairs, offered a grand banquet in honor of the Funk and Grunk delegation led by Deputy Prime Minister Q. Sampong and Special Advisor Yin Seri. The next page, English 00280543, Khmer S00070452, and French 00006864. That entry shows that on the 1st of April, Mr. Zhou Enlai, Prime Minister of the Council of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China, gave a speech to the banquet in honor of the Funk and Grunk delegation. So this is the speech by Zhou Enlai at the banquet on the 1st of April 1974. And I move to an extract of that speech on English ERN 00280544, Khmer S00704562. And French 00000070452. So, Zhou Enlai stated Voici as follows. Le de Zhou Enlai. The People's National Liberation Armed Forces of Cambodia gained strength Les in the ravages of war. Closely tied to the masses, they fought with heroism, decimating large, strong enemy armies and freeing over 90% of the national territory, inhabited by over 80% of the population of the country, firmly guaranteeing themselves control over the war. Since the beginning of the current dry season, they have started offences on different battlefields, launched attacks against enemies lurking in Phnom Penh or in other points of support and achieved triumphant victories. Still within the same document, même document, now moving on to a meeting between Mao Zedong, Q. Sampong and Ying Sari. The ERN in English, 00280546. In Khmer, S00704567 through 68. In French, 000. 00073. And the entry confirms that President Mao Zedong met with the Funk and Grunk delegation that was led by Q. Sampong and Ying Sari. And that Zhao Enlai was also present on that occasion. Next, I move to document E3 slash 1254. The front page of that document, La page de garde de ce document um, English ERN 00280547, Khmer S00633740, and French 000. 
shows that on the 4th of April, still on the visit to China, the Funk and Grunk delegation continued their talks with Prime Minister Zhao Enlai and the Deputy Prime Minister. Next, I move to document number E3-1255. At English ERN 00280564, Khmer 0059 and French 000 001. We have confirmation. Le président interrompt. Le président, M. Co-Prosecutor, could you please slow down a little bit uh, and uh, can you repeat uh, the current ERN number that you just read out uh, because the interpreter couldn't follow? Yes, Mr. President, uh, I will do that. The ERN in Khmer for this document is 00 and this is document number E3 document slash 1255. Again, it is a Funk publication répète, published Funk, in Nouvelle du, Cambodge. Dans Nouvelle du Cambodge. And on this page, we have confirmation ici that discussions uh, were held que les discussions between the Funk and Grunk delegation and the Grunk delegation of the government of the People's Democratic Republic of Korea de la on the RPDC. 7th of April 1974 in Pyongyang. Pyongyang. And, president, and present on the Cambodian side Pour again, Kyu Sampong and Yeng Sari. I move on to document number E3 slash 115. Ensuite, document E3 bar 115. Oh no, forgive me, I'm going to cover one other document. Excusez-moi. Je vais présenter un autre document. I'm moving back to E3 slash 167. E3 bar 167. This was a document that we've already covered in terms document of déjà words spoken by Q Song Pong on the 5th of April whilst in North Korea. Le 5 avril en Corée du Nord. But to set the chronology correctly, I'm on E3 slash 167. English ERN 00. En anglais, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, portion entitled The Funk and Grunk Delegation Leaves Pyongyang, we have confirmation that the Funk and Grunk Delegation, headed by Q Sampong and Yin Sari, left Pyongyang in North Korea on the 8th of April 1974 to travel to Beijing. And on English page 00280591, within the same document, Khmer 00596149, and French 00001289 through 9. We have confirmation that at the uh, end of the visit to Korea, the delegation Corée, arrived in delegation Beijing on the 8th of April 1974. Next. E3 slash 115. English ERN 002805594. Khmer 00 
5-9-7-9-1-6-6 and French 0-0-0-0-0-1-4-8. We have the following extract entitled The Funk and Grunk Delegation en route to Europe and Africa. And the entry states that the Funk and Grunk Delegation under the leadership of Q. Sampan and Ying Sari left Peking on the 19th of April 1974 by special flight to visit European and African countries. The next page in English, which is 00280595, Khmer 00597967, and French 00 00149 has an entry entitled The Funk and Grunk Delegation Arrives in Tirana, Tirana being in Albania. And then there's confirmation that the Funk and Grunk Delegation arrived on the 20th of April 1974 in Tirana for an official and friendly visit on the invitation of the Council of Ministers of the People's Republic of Albania. And again, the Cambodian delegation or the Funk and Grunk delegation was under the leadership of Q. Sampan, assisted by Ying Sari as special advisor. Next, can I move please to document number E3 slash 3312. This is a United States Department of State document on page number English 00412748, Khmer 0074084849, and French 00763789 through 90. There is an entry that shows that the next stop was Albania, which I've just covered, and then we have the words, and I quote, then to Belgrade, close quote. In next document, E3 slash 3315, English RN 0041275. Zero zero seven nine zero zero one one and French zero zero eight zero two three three seven. We have confirmation again in a United States Department of State document uh, telegram. Uh, there is these words. During a call by the ambassador at the foreign ministry, and this is in, uh, Bucharest, on other matters, Deputy Foreign Minister Nikolai Guinea made several comments on the visit to Romania of the Cambodian Grunk leader, Hugh Sampan. Next, document number E3-3318. This is a U.S. Department of State telegram, telegram English ERN 00412773, Khmer 00790015, and French 00802340. And this has reference to, and I quote, the French ambassador to Algiers, obviously capital of Algeria, reported on Q. Sampon's visit. That's an item on that page, and then following on the next page, at item 5, it's reported that following the visit to uh, Nuuk Chot, the capital of Mauritania in Africa. Q. Sampon would go to Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon, and then hope to visit Cairo, the capital, obviously, of Egypt.
bien évidemment la capitale de l'Égypte. Next, please, document Prochain number document. E3 slash 2939. This is on English page 00377049. Khmer 0073834040 through 41. And French 0076687464. This is a Department of State telegram from the American consulate in Hong Kong to Washington. The communique is headed Q Sampon's visit to the People's Republic of China. And it states, as the joint communique noted, the visit of Q Sampon to the People's Republic of China was crowned by mutual success. And on the next page, we have these words. The joint communique of the 27th of May 1974, issued at the conclusion of the Q Sampon visit to the Emis People's Republic of China de Sampon, noted both Chine, sides full satisfaction. Que les deux parties étaient pleinement They're moving away, Mr. President, now from this non, Président, official tour by Q Sampon and Ying Suri to some more factual matters leading up to the evacuation Suri, stroke liberation of Phnom Penh. And I start for these purposes at E3 slash 1815, again returning to Ben Kiernan's book, How Pol Pot Came to Power. English ERN 00487538. Khmer ERN 00104885, no French, as I explained earlier. The extract reads as follows. In June 1974, according to Pol Pot, the CPK Central Committee met and decided to launch the decisive offensive to liberate Phnom Penh and the whole country. The campaign would begin on the 1st of January 1975. This is in the epilogue section to Ben Kiernan's book. That reference to Pol Pot's speech is a reference to a speech which Pol Pot gave on the 27th of September 1977, which is footnote one in the epilogue. Next, please, document number E3 slash 11. This is an extract from a revolutionary flag in September 1977. The English ERN is 0046247. Khmer is 000 63. I'm being told we want the ERNs in English again. The English ERN is 00486247. In Khmer, 00063106. Stroke 3. In French, 0049-28336. So this is an extract from the revolutionary flag of September 1977. At the beginning, we concentrated on attacking the enemy's weak positions in the countryside with combined military attacks by regular and guerrilla units with mass demonstrations to strike the enemy and take power in the villages and communes. In this way, we, our liberated and expanded in the countryside every single day and isolated the enemy, encircling a few large population centers. At the same time that we tied down MMA forces in scattered positions 
where the communication and les supplies became more and more difficult et for leur communication et leur route d'approvisionnement était de plus en plus during this situation c'était pendant cette situation when our party's central committee alors que notre in the que course le comité of central de notre June parti 1974 conference resolved to mount the decisive offensive to liberate Phnom Penh and the entire country. And two paragraphs below. Carrying out the decision of the party central committee en exécutant la décision During du comité central du parti pendant la saison des pluies de l'année 1974, we actively prepared our forces nous avons préparé politically, nos forces ideologically and organizationally et au point de vue de l'organisation and in terms of the combat line on the battlefield pour les lignes de combat sur les champs de bataille our entire revolutionary army audaciously fulfilled tout entière the party's mission of making à respecter, the decisive à rencontrer les objectifs du parti pour l'offensive finale. To document number Ensuite, e document E3, E3 slash 89. Bar 89. This is a transcript of an interview between Ying Sari and Stephen Hedder on the 17th of December 1996. English RN 0047 a dit la chaussure. The matter of the evacuation from Phnom Penh la question de had been de previously decided. Avait déjà fait l'objet d'une décision. Précédente. That's according to what I was told. C'est ce qu'on m'a dit. Header. February Header. 1975. Février 1975. No, April, May, Réponse. but in early April non. or late Avril, March 1975. They brought up the possibilities of what Ils to do when Phnom Penh was faire, que faire. I raised this matter with Pol Pot in 1974, Pol Pot en 1974, asking what preparations had been made for when préparer? we won Phnom Penh. Si we discussed the population at that time. De la population à ce -là. On that, pardon me, Edel. where did you meet Comment him? Pardon. Où l'avez-vous rencontré? Yang Sari. I met him near Phnom Penh. C'était près de Phnom Penh. I had returned from Beijing. Je revenais de Pékin. I came back in 73 Je and met the prince in Hanoi. I went to Beijing Hanoi. Je suis and Pékin. came back in 74. Je suis revenu en 74. Header. Header. Question. When you led the economic delegation to Vietnam and went to Beijing, la délégation économique au Vietnam, yes, puis à Pékin, puis I returned. This is Ying Sari. Ying Sari. I oui. returned. Je suis revenu. And then we discussed what we should Et do ensuite, nous avons when we won que nous devrions faire and what preparations should be made. Et quels étaient les préparatifs à organiser. This was the view of His Excellency Zhou Enlai. C'était l'avis de Son Excellence Zhou Enlai. He had asked me what Il plans we had for after we won. Quels étaient nos plans après la victoire. I was in a difficult spot. Et j'étais en position I did not dare difficile, respond at all at the time. répondre à sa question. I said that I did not yet have a clear knowledge and he would have to wait until I could ask inside Cambodia. When I did ask inside the country, I did not dare ask about <coughs> army matters. But I did ask what solution there would be to the problem of the people. What solution there would be to the problem 
of the 3 million people in problème des 3 millions de personnes vivant à Phnom Penh. Pol Pot replied to me. Pol Pot m'a répondu that they already had all the experience they needed qu'ils avaient déjà toute l'expérience dont ils avaient and besoin and that i should not concern myself with this et que je ne and pas should en instead soucier. concern myself que je plutôt with my duties m'occuper abroad. de mes tâches à l'étranger i then said that oui, I had been dit, specifically asked by the Chinese leadership about this question directly as propos. He said Il a répondu, that it was a very easy matter to resolve. Que c'était tout simple. And that our Chinese comrades Et que had nothing to worry about. Ne devait pas s'inquiéter. Because we Khmer had clear Car cut notions nous, Khmer, in this regard des, des bien after having been able to solve the problem in Stung Treng and Krache provinces. Le problème dans les provinces de Krache et de Stung Treng. So the solution to the problem donc, was to evacuate. Au problème était that was the only way to solve the problem. Et que c'était la seule façon de régler le problème. I responded by asking whether this meant a total evacuation si or what. Evacuation totale. And he said to wait and see what the concrete situation would be at the time. La situation quand Nevertheless, the term evacuation was oui. already being used in 1974. Est déjà en 1974. I move next to document number E3 document stroke E3 687. 687. This is an article which appeared in the New York Times on the 9th of July 1982. 9 July 1982. And the document is headed Le titre. Three unlikely Cambodian allies. Trois alliés cambodgiens war inattendu. on Vietnam. And the three people being referred to in the article are Prince Norodom Sihanouk, évoque la guerre au Vietnam. His former Prime Minister Son San de Norodom Sihanouk, de son ancien Premier ministre Son San, Q Sampong, who the author describes as the long-time communist who was a theoretician for Pol Pot's communist regime and helped develop the policy under which millions of Cambodians were expelled from Phnom Penh. On page number English, 00122280, Khmer 0065. One was eight seven and French zero zero six two two four four nine stroke five zero. The journalist for this article, the journalist. It states as follows. His name is Colin Campbell. Il s'agit de la, le journaliste is referencing Colin Campbell. Q Sampon. Puis il référence à Q Sampon. And there's a part of the article, a collective decision. Une quote. Le sous-titre est une décision collective. And he acknowledged that millions of Cambodians had been sent out of Phnom Penh and into the countryside as a result of a collective decision. Had he joined the decision? Question mark. avez-vous pris part à la décision? Mr. Q. Sampon chuckled dryly and replied in French. 
Yes. Evidently. Oui. Évidemment. I move next to document number E3 slash 26. This is an interview that Nguyen Chia gave a Japanese journalist on the 7th of October 2006. On English page 00329511, Khmer 00008999. And French 00 The journalist asked Le this question of Nunchier. So, why did Pol Pot have sufficient capability to control the Pourquoi entire movement? Comment Pol Pot était-il capable de contrôler tout le mouvement Nunchier. Nunchier. On that, it was not him by himself. Everyone worked together. He made his contribution. Répond, dans cette histoire, il n'était pas tout seul. We made out. Nous étions tous ensemble, il participait, et nous, nous participions aussi. Mais l'important chose était que la population nous soutienne. Question. Question. During the democratic Kampuchea era, Sous le du did Pol Pot have a monopoly over power or Pol Pot avait-il un pouvoir absolu? Nunchier. No. The collective Ou democracy non, concentration non. brackets democratic collective. centralism. Close on English page 00329512, Khmer 00009091, and French 00636873. There is a question from the journalist. Who decided to evacuate Qui the people from the cities? D'évacuer les populations des villes. Nguyen Chia. Nguyen Chia. The party center. C'était le centre du parti. Journalist. Le journaliste. Who had the original idea? Qui a eu l'idée? Nguyen Chia. Nguyen Chia. At that time, individuals each helped a little to originate ideas. Contribuer it was combining à la des this idées. with that. C'était un mélange des différents apports de chacun. Next move to document number Puis D248 slash 5.1.28. This is a 10th of July 1974 de, oui. telegram from the US Embassy in Phnom Penh, 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 Penh entitled Recent titre, Movement of Khmer Refugees, refugees Khmer to Niek Lung. Vers Niek Lung. English RN 00377 en anglais, 045 into 46. Khmer 00058192 into 93. And French 00663886 through to 87. At item 2 in the telegram, there is the following quote. On retrouve la citation suivante. Over a year ago, Khmer insurgent forces non, non, overran parts of Route Khmer 1 between Nyak Lung and Phnom Penh and, and Phnom moved Penh. most of the Khmer Et living there off to the swampy area between the Mekong and Basak River just to the south. The Khmer from Route 1 
underwent political indoctrination and were forced to farm and fish to support the Khmer insurgent forces. Life around Prasat Tayo was difficult, and many of the returned, sorry, I repeat, and many of the recently returned refugees complained bitterly about the economic deprivation and political oppression. During the last month, the situation became so bad that most people there had nothing to eat besides corn. Some tried to escape on their own, and during the last several months, an estimated 150 families made it safely to Niak Lung. Others were not so lucky and were either captured or killed by the Khmer insurgents. Next, document number E3-3329. This is a U.S. Department of State document, document du département d'État du gouvernement and the ERNs are as follows, English 0041-28777, Khmer 0063-27687. And French 00599748. This is a telegram from the American Embassy in Vientiane in Laos to Washington. Number one, the Vientiane daily newspaper, Jia Lao, Lao Nation. On August the 9th, 1974, printed an article titled, quote, Misery in the Zone, controlled by the Khmer Rouge, told by a Cambodian monk, close quote. The following is an English translation of the article, number two. In the course of a visit to the Wat Sene Muang in the province of Sitandon, your reporter was able to interview a Khmer monk, the venerable Pra Ko At, chief of Wat Tha Pue, who sought refuge in Sitandon before the start of the Buddhist Lent. Avant le début du carême bouddhiste. The monk exposed the very difficult conditions of life le moine a fait existing in the areas dans les controlled by the Khmer Rouge. At number five, Point numéro cinq. speaking of the administration in Au the red zone, Pra Khao At Pra stated Pro that the population a déclaré que led les populations a very difficult life. Une vie très they were victims of requisitions et victimes de and had to permanently submit to propaganda sessions propaganda and every sort of trouble. Et toutes sortes de problèmes. As to the military problem, continued le the Venerable, le Venerable, it come uniquely from Mr. Q. Sampan's order, which forbade the population in the zone border la population dans la zone from respecting Prince Sihanouk. Those Sihanouk. who did not obey this order qui are pas cet executed sont miserably, indicated the same monk who had reported the case of General Sampone executed in 1973 during a reception. The President, thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. It is now an appropriate moment for the lunch adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn until 1.30 p.m. Security personnel are now directed to bring Mr. Kusampan to his holding cell downstairs and have him return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned.